Hello and welcome to HSDC Alton here in the Sports Department. Within our department we have three main vocational sport options for you. We have a Level 2 Technical Diploma in Sport, we have a Level 3 Extended Certificate in Sport and we have a Level 3 Extended Diploma in Sport. With the Level 2 Diploma in Sport, this is a one year course with students should have achieved a GCC average of 3 or above and it's a 100% written coursework course. It consists of eight units that are all um, written or practically assessed by your teachers with the main aim of you hopefully progressing to level three if you've achieved a merit or above at the end of that one year. The level three courses we have, the extended certificate, is a one A level course which is over two years so you'll have this subject alongside two other courses. Um, it's made up of six units over the two years. Two of those are externally examined, so you'll have exams in these. The other four units will be assessed practically and through written coursework with uh, your teacher. Uh, the Level 3 Extended Diploma is a two-year course and is the equivalent to three A-levels, so it will form your entire programme of study whilst you're at HSDC Alton. It's made up of 17 units, four of which are externally assessed, so you'll have exams in those units, with the other 13 being written or practical assessment graded by your teacher. You'll achieve a pass, a merit or a distinction based on the grade uh, quality of the work that you have submitted. For all three courses, you'll be taught across a variety of different uh, environments, anywhere from the classroom through to computer suites, here in the gym, uh, either outside in the sports field or the sports hall. And ultimately, this course is aimed at people who are looking to develop their career in sport, whether that be off to university to study teaching or sports therapy, whether it's to uh, gain apprenticeship work in sports coaching, or you want to look at the fitness route in terms of being a fitness instructor or a personal trainer. In addition to um, the sports subjects here at HSD UC Autumn, we run uh, a wide range of extracurricular sports teams, anything from men's and women's team in football, rugby union um, and tennis, through to uh, netball, basketball and cricket as well. We look forward to welcoming you here in the very near future in the sports department at HSDC Autumn. Thank you. Hi, my name is Den Hopper. I am the Health and Social Care Course Manager for the Level 3 Extended Certificate in Health and Social Care. It is equivalent to 1A level, so you would take this course along with two other A levels. Typically, students tend to take either psychology or sociology, they may take biology, they may take A level English or business and some take an A-level in sport as well. So two other A-levels along with this one that is equivalent to an A-level will get you the amount of uh, points you need, UCAS points, to move you on to university going forward. To give you some structure of the course, we have four units in this course, two per year. The first year you do an examined unit and a unit that is assessed through assignments. The examined unit is lifespan and development and you will sit the exam in the May-June time. The assignment based unit is individual needs and you'll have uh, two assignments throughout the year. So you'll be able to get feedback on how well you're doing throughout the year. In the second year, same situation, same structure, two other units one examined at the end of the year and that one is working in health and social care. The second unit is usually physiological disorders and that one again is assessed through assignments throughout the year, just probably just two throughout the year. So again you can track your progress on how well you're doing. The type of careers that students usually want to go into when they study this course is midwifery, adult nursing, paediatric nursing, paramedic science, any of the nursing connotations, but also social work, care work, um, mental health, um, and any of those. We ha have also got students that have gone on to criminal psychology, or criminology, or forensic psychology, um, and absolutely love it. Some have actually gone on to do special educational needs teaching as well. 
um, which is quite a rewarding job in itself. In order to get on this course, you need to have at least five GCSEs grade four and above, and that must include English language and maths. As I say, you'll be externally assessed at the end of each year for the two examined units. So they are formal exams that you sit. Students also go on to apprenticeships in um, higher education apprenticeships in nursing or social work or any form of care work. So just to conclude, this whole course takes two years, equivalent to a whole A-level, so you would take it with two other A-levels. It's a really interactive course. We do an awful lot of lectures as well as interactive sessions, as well as role play, as well as, si as, well as simulation. So we hope you enjoy the course, I hope you have enough information about it and we look forward to seeing you here. Hello and welcome to the A-Level Physical Education virtual tour for the Alton College campus at HSDC. My name is Simon Blomfield and I'm the subject leader and I'd like to take a few minutes of your time just to talk to you about the course, what we offer um, and also how you're assessed. So before I begin, um, I'd just like to point out that there are that, that there is a requirement to come onto the course and that we would expect all students to have at least five GCSEs between the levels of nine and four, um, including maths and English. And we would also need students to be at a level five for science. And that's because of the, of the heavy science content of the course. The course itself is broken down into four components and I'll talk to you about those in a bit more depth shortly. Um, I'd also like to point out that this subject works particularly well with other subjects on offer at Alton, such as history, biology, environmental science, public services, health and social care, and dance, also psychology, but not limited to these subjects. Right, so first component that students would be assessed in and this is for 40% of the overall A-level grade, and this is a two-hour paper. This is the sort of subject content that you would really expect to be on an A-level PE course. So we're looking at applied anatomy and physiology. So this is how your body, um, the structure of the body, and the function of the different systems of the body, so how it responds to exercise, cardiovascular, respiratory, energy systems. Um, we'd also look at exercise physiology. So this is how fitness is assessed, how it's evaluated, also different training methods and techniques. And then finally, biomechanics. This isn't studied quite so much at GCSE, so this may be quite new to many of you, but we'll be looking at the physics-based properties of sport and the human body, such as levers and Newton's laws, and also technology advancements in sport. The second component is the psychological factors affecting performance, and that's broken down into two topics here. We've got skill acquisition, and sports psychology. So skill acquisition is how an individual acquires skill. This could be through different theories such as transfer, um, guidance and feedback. Um, and also we, we talk a lot about how the memory is used um, and different techniques and how to overcome stress and pressure. Um, that filters in quite nice into the sports psychology element of the course. So we look at different theories involved there and we also look at aggression in sport too. The third component is the social cultural issues in physical activity and sport. And this is a one hour paper worth 30%. And this looks at the emergence of sport pre and post industrial revolution, and also the emergence of sport from the public school system and how it filtered out around the rest of the world um, in, through the British empire. We also look at contemporary issues in sport as well, such as globalisation, media influences um, and commercialisation, and also hosting um, large scale global events such as the Olympic Games or the World Cup. And then finally, we've got component four, which is the practical element of the course, and this is worth 30% of, of the overall mark. Um, and this is where students are assessed in one sport of your choice. So you don't have to be um, taking part in multiple sports as per GCSE. This is just your one sport, one area of expertise. It's worth checking on the course um, specifications just to see if your, your sport is there. All team sports, 
common sports in the UK will be there, but it's just worth checking if you do something a little bit more obscure. Secondly, um, so you're assessed as a practical performer and then you're assessed um, in your ability to analyze a performance. So this is looking at an unseen um, performance of the sport of your choice and then giving a constructive plan on how to improve that performance. And that's a verbal and written assessment. And that's done in the second year. So just before I let you go, just have a think. Where would, this, where would this course take you? So we've got lots of students on the course who end up going to university to do courses such as sports science, some go off to do physiotherapy, some to look to work in the, the world of um, fitness and exercise, but also more often than not, people are combining this in newer subjects and the new courses which are going on at universities such as sports technology, sports media. Um, just on the right hand side of the screen here, we've got the link, well it's not a link, but it's, it's information related to the course which I'd advise you go to find out. And if you type into Google OCR, which is the exam board, H555, which is the course code and PE, which is the subject, you'll get all the links to all the exam papers, resources, and the full specification if you wanted to look at it a little bit more depth. I hope that's been helpful. And if you do have any questions, please make sure you contact the college. Best of luck, take care. Imagine a career protecting people, saving lives, helping people make the right choices, fighting terrorism, perhaps learning how to fight fires, maybe joining as a pilot in the RAF. Flying a Typhoon aircraft. Or perhaps being an officer in the Royal Navy. Or being a submariner. Or fly a Chinook or become a combat team commander like myself. The two year course is tough and has 19 modules for the extended diploma and six modules for the subsidiary. There are no exams, they're all coursework with regular assignments each week based on your learning. The course does lots of team building activities. We go to Hampshire Mountain Centre in the Brecon Beacons. We want people like you to join our course. To be adventurous, gain the Duke of Edinburgh's award. To get tough and be resilient, whatever the load is, You must have 5.5 average of the GCSE results with grade four pass in English and maths. If you don't get it, come and see us and we'll do what we can to help you climb that hill. The course is based on three highly experienced teachers with lessons starting at 10 for two hours with breaks. Assessments are completed weekly with deadlines of assignments which can be videoed, word docs, powerpoints and blogs and web pages. We pride ourselves in digging you out of a hole, even if you don't understand the work. Students go to university, Sandhurst, join the Royal Navy or join the Royal Air Force. They go to many different universities, do many different courses after leaving their two year course on the extended diploma or subsidiary. So if you want to know more, go to our website at hsdcac.uk. You take care of yourselves and we look forward to seeing you.